arrested. We can talk now on the line to Trey Yingst, who's a News 2 share reporter, who was actually arrested by the police whilst covering the protests last night in Ferguson. Uh, Trey, just tell us what happened. Um, well, my arrest actually happened on Saturday night. Um, the, so it, it wasn't last night. Um, but the arrest, um, it was a much smaller protest than anything that was happening last night. Um, and I was standing on the sidewalk, and they wanted me to stand on a different sidewalk, but didn't really make that clear. And uh, the next thing I knew, I was arrested and uh, taken to jail. Um, and I was just there recording what was happening, doing my job. Uh, and since then, we've seen the rioting um, last night and, and the claims uh, from many people in Ferguson of, of, of police brutality, of unfair policing. What would you say about what, they, what they're claiming about the way that police behave there in Ferguson and St. Louis? Um, well, I was here in August, and in August um, there were definitely some decisions that were made by police officers uh, that were not the best and they were not in the interest of, of the community of Ferguson. Um, and every once in a while, they continue to make um, decisions that I, I don't agree with, I, I don't think are the correct way to deal with things. Um, but last night, uh, they, they really had to exercise the force uh, that they did, uh, because Ferguson turned into a war zone. Uh, it started out with, with smaller things, throwing bottles at police, and slowly escalated to lighting police cars on fire. And then lighting police cars on fire escalated um, to lighting buildings on fire, and lighting buildings on fire escalated to actually firing live rounds of ammunition at the police. And are you worried, um, and are other people there worried, that there, there could be more nights of violence like this? Um, I, I do believe there will be more nights of violence like this, uh, because the people who are doing this looting and, and shooting at police, um, they are seemingly enjoying what they're doing. I mean, they, there were people playing music in the streets last night, and it was almost like they were having a party as they lit, lit the, the city of Ferguson on fire. Um, so I do believe that there will be uh, more backlash tonight, and um, I think that law enforcement is really going to need to beef up what they were doing because there were, there were parts of, of Ferguson last night that were completely controlled uh, by protesters and rioters to the point where people were carrying handguns and shotguns in the street um, and then just breaking into whatever building they wanted and if they got everything out that they wanted they just lit the building on fire. And, and what is, you know, we know about the case of Michael Brown, the shooting of the unarmed black teenager back in the summer, but what, what are the deeper reasons for all that anger and frustration in the community there? Well there's definitely a lot of racial tension within the community. Um, and it, it's no secret that the police force, um, the majority of the police force is, is white, and the majority of the community is African American. And the issue with that is that people find um, a lot of tension. They, there's a lot of racial tension there. And it's not resolved um, during the protest, and it's particularly not resolved when people think about the case of Michael Brown, because Michael Brown, a, a young African American, was shot and killed by a white police officer. Uh, President Obama has appealed for calm. Do you think his appeal is going to then fall on, on deaf ears in Ferguson and St. Louis and, and other American cities where there's been trouble? Um, I don't think that the protesters or the rioters really care what the president has to say. Um, when, you're, when you're burning buildings and, and shooting at police officers, I, I don't really think that there's, there's many people in the entire world um, that could talk sense into someone um, that's making these decisions. Uh, I think there's there's a, a place for protest and peaceful assembly, but I don't think that violence and, and riots and, and firing um, gunshots at, at law enforcement is the way to do it. Um, so I, I don't know that even the president's appeal would, 